Hi guys, it's Becky here. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to show you five ways to hide your nursery pots. A paper bag, a metal tin, a material bag, a seagrass basket, and glass. My first way to hide a nursery pot is my most favorite, and that is a simple painted paper bag. You can use any paper bag at all, um, even a mushroom bag that you get from a supermarket. And all you need to do is paint the bag and roll over the top like so. And I'll be showing you how to do that shortly. For this project, you're gonna need a scrap piece of card, a hairdryer, paint in whatever color you'd like, a paper bag in whatever size you need for your pot, and one paintbrush. Use as little paint as you can because we want this to dry fast and you don't want to get your paper bag sopping wet. The first side is dry. Now I'm going to do the other side. What I do is I put my arm inside the bag and hold it while I paint the bag. You can even do something like this where you're using such little paint that you're only just getting a little bit of paint on the paper bag and that gives it this like rustic look. Alright, now we've got our cute little paper bag and it's all painted and the reason this is going to look cool is basically the contrast between the brown paper on the inside and our painted outside. So what we're gonna do is really carefully fold this over and only fold it over about a half an inch. Now I'm gonna fold it over a second time and this is to hide that edge. So I'm very gently folding it over a second time. You can be as gentle with this or as rough as you wanna be. This is the plant I'm gonna be using for this and I can see that the paper bag is going to be too tall so I'm going to continue rolling down I want it to look like this because I quite like the look of like old grain bags and you know wood that's like half painted and slightly rubbed off I like that rustic look not everyone does so you can keep if you roll this over very neatly you can keep that square shape I want to make sure that it's tall enough to hide that pot, but not so tall that it's just going to hide the leaves. You don't want to hide the leaves. You don't want to hide these gorgeous leaves. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? Look at that. It is so cute. I love it. The only thing with this technique is that you have to take the pot out if you want to water your plant. unless you find a dish that's small enough to fit in the bottom here. You paint the paper bag in whatever color you want. It doesn't even matter how badly you paint the paper bag. It still looks cool and trendy. And here's my Hindu rope. But because the Hindu rope is very front heavy, I have a piece of ceramic stuck down the back side to make it heavy at the back so my plant doesn't trip over fall over. This is a chocolate tin box that my husband brought back from Australia for me because he knows I like hot chocolate and he knows that I love Lint the brand and the tin was just too cute for me to throw away. So what I do is I put my smaller plants in these tins. You might be able to find tins from the op shop or from your grandparents place really old rustic tins, really you can use any tin at all. And all I've done is folded over a one of these paper bags and stuffed it inside. So again, you can't water your plants while they're in this. I have to take this plant out, put it on a saucer and water it. 
but this is for display purposes only and it looks so cute look at that material bags now material bags are really for people who know how to sew I'll show you what this one looks like this is a bag that I received a pillowcase in and all I've done is I've sewn a liner to it I've sewn a liner and folded that over there there are lots of tutorials on YouTube of how to make these material bags from scratch and I'll link a few below and if you really want I can make a video on that as well the only thing I'll say about the material bag look is that it doesn't look very good in your house in the heat of summer you'll be walking around your apartment or your house looking at all your beautiful plants sweating like a pig because it's the heat of summer and you'll look at this material bag and you'll think that's just too warm but I think in winter it's gonna look real cozy I'm gonna be looking at this plant and look at this cute material bag and think I could do with a cup of cocoa a seagrass basket is a really great way to hold hide your bigger nursery pots and it's actually got a dish in here underneath it so I can water this plant while it's in its seagrass basket yeah I just check out wherever I go into any store wherever I am I'll check out what baskets they have available this basket is from Trade Aid so it's made ethically it's beautiful the other thing I do with my baskets is I store items in them so in this basket it's not only got my snake plant in it it also has my spare sources for when I want to water my plants my last category is glass and I think glass is a very beautiful way to obscure your nursery pots I don't have very many examples of this because I haven't found any glass at my local op shop and your local op shop is going to be a great place to find beautiful like amber glasses or vases short vases that you can hide your nursery pots in what I would be doing is finding a amber glass that is about this high maybe an amber vase with an opening that's big enough for my pot to sit in and I would love to find some amber glass or blue glass but I just have not found anything in my local op shop yet so my advice to you guys is go to your op shops find wicker baskets find seagrass baskets find amber glass find tins just raid your local op shop because that's where you're going to find some beautiful items to hide your nursery pots in and it's going to cost you almost nothing thank you so much for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this video and I would really appreciate it if you gave me a like and a subscribe it means the world to me and I'll see you in the next video